Okay. It's recording now. Now that we can see her. Okay. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to the Just Talking podcast. I am joined. I'm here. What the fuck? I can't even fucking speak. I'm I am joined. He- I am joined. I am here joined with. We have been joined. <laughs> we have been joined. I'm here with Maggie and Penelope. Wow. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Don't breathe. Don't what fucking do fuck that, man. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. I don't want to I don't start out. No, this is the beginning of it. We stick with it. We only do one takes here. We're one take family. Yeah, we're just talking. Um. Yeah, so Penelope joins us from the Great Land of California. Hi, how are you, Beach? It's been three months. How, how are you? Good. <laughs> this is where you say something. <laughs> Would you, do you want to introduce yourself? Because, you, you know, you're not on the podcast often. They don't need to know who I am. Penelope <laughs> <laughs> no, doesn't want to be affiliated <laughs> with the events that have taken Can place have on this channel. Name with me. Wait, we Dr. already X said. From, uh, <laughs> we, that's that's going to happen. I already said your name Penelope and Fierro. <laughs> oh, shit. Maggie and I have the same middle name to spell different. That's true. <laughs> Mine spelled better. <laughs> Mine spelled shorter. <laughs> mm, mine spelled better. <laughs> I don't know. Like you like never a difference. <laughs> that was the weird thing is that y- you didn't even. What the fuck? Why are you destroying what? shit? <laughs> Penelope's trying to destroy your fan. I didn't know. I accidentally kicked it. That's a robot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're here to talk about today, but we're here and we're talking because it's the Just Talking podcast. Yeah. Um, but I'll be, I do. I do want to like know your honest opinion about like moving. How is that? Are you like moved in? Moved in? Like how big is your place? It's a one bedroom. Is it pretty small? Because you moved to California, you moved mm-hmm. to the outskirts of LA, LA County, <coughs> right? It's yeah. It's North LA County. North LA County. And but it's, it's like it's in the valley though, so it's fine. You need a little bit closer than that. Just, just a little bit. What is rent like in LA? Yeah, tell us tell us I what's almost. that like. How much money do you have in your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your bank account number and information? Um, something in my checking and like <laughs> <laughs> that's Damn, you're rich. <laughs> now I have two jobs. And yeah, that freaking, that's freaking. That's oh, freaking. I haven't paid rent yet, so my half is like almost nine hundred. We pay almost eighteen hundred dollars. What the? F- that's crazy. Wait, no, are you fucking serious? Yeah, for a one bedroom apartment. You're paying eighteen hundred dollars <laughs> to rent. Almost it's like almost eight. seventeen ninety something. Do you have a bathroom? <laughs> yes. Do you have a washer and dryer? Yeah. Well, like, it's in the... Is it in the facility area? Yeah. Do you have to pay for it? Uh-huh. That fuck... To, like, $800 wash and, and dry you can't a even... laundry, it's, like, four bucks. Under Dang. four bucks. Does it come with Wi-Fi? Do you have to pay for your own Wi-Fi? I pay for my own Wi-Fi. I connected my own Wi-Fi. That... How much are utilities? Shit, dude. It's included. Okay. So and that's was... the cheaper. So if it was a that's one crazy. person... Um, I we would have to pay sixteen fifty. Oh yeah. No, no, no. And then with like all the like taxes and stuff, it would be like almost seventeen. So we pay a hundred more dollars since there's two of us living in the apartment. That's, and that's how so they wow. pay for utilities. But I know, which I love, I'm fine with that because I know yeah. I pay. I mean, I know I use more than a hundred dollars worth of utilities, especially living in California. I yeah, <laughs> I You're take like, thirty I'm minute showers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's why. What's minimum wage in California? Eleven, eleven something. Shit, what's it here? Seven fifty. Yeah, it's like. Well, that's why the cost of living is so high yeah. in California. Is because every time they raise minimum wage, which they raised it this yeah. previous year, and like five times last year. Yeah. So like it, it makes, it, it actually makes it worse because like cost of living goes up. And so, like, it doesn't go as far. It's weird that the U.S. dollar, like, means different things just in, like, different states. Yeah, because it's one thing to mean it to comparing. have a different meaning in different parts of the country and, like, the world. But, yeah, like, like, comparing the the euro to the dollar or something yeah. like that. But, like, but, like, in the states. Yeah. And even just, like, throughout time, you know? Yeah. But it's, like, right now, at this point in time, like, Utah and California are significantly different, like, yeah, well, what the dollar means. You like, go to, you're, 
like you compare Utah to Missouri and it's again. It's oh my gosh. Yeah. Like yeah. I could fill up my car in Missouri for fifteen dollars. Wild. I filled up my car yesterday for twenty five bucks the first time in a long time that That's I've ever impressive. done that. I know. But then again, the last time I was it's driving though to fill up by this car in California. Wow. Oh, she has a my God. <laughs> that sucks. And you walk everywhere, too. Because yeah. you don't so have a we car. Don't, we don't you don't use that much gas. Just because of that. It's a cost we don't need. <laughs> Plus, it's like hell driving anywhere there. We fucking showed up there in five minutes, and we got rear-ended. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my I gosh. forgot about that. That's yeah. I was in Sacramento, though. So. Yeah. Ooh, that I was guess that's such true. a good start to our road trip. <laughs> yeah, we took a road trip last summer in, to California and we got rear ended within minutes of us getting into California. It was kind of, it was kind of ridiculous. And the dude was kind of a dick about it for a really long time until he realized that we were out of state people. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry I ruined your trip. And I was like, yeah, yeah you better be fucking like, sorry. Yeah, like, yeah, bitch. You fucking ran into my piece of shit car anyways. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Emma and Penelope and I were just in the car dying laughing, though. Yeah, like, <laughs> I like, couldn't believe it. I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, I can't believe this actually just happened to us. Oh, my gosh. Penelope, that's like wild, though. Did you what? get a second okay. job? Well, okay, did you get a second job because you just wanted more money to live comfortably? To survive? To yes. survive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Crazy. So, do you feel like you've become good at budgeting? Are you, like, a budgeting master now? Um, yeah. But I think, honestly, it was before. Nice. Like, I guess that's fair. I stuff money in my savings. Because, I mean, it definitely becomes, when you're living, like, paycheck to paycheck, like... It's like you have to know exactly where every dollar is going and like yeah. exactly how much money you'll be getting in every paycheck. Yeah. And yeah, even just like thinking for this summer for me and like the upcoming school year, like paying for tuition and everything, it's so weird to like oh think gosh. about exactly where every dollar is going to be going. Yeah. It is weird. Oh, hey, yeah. you keep fucking talking about not going to school next semester because you're going to be broke. Why are you just not going to pull out another student loan? Like, are you not going to So, pay? they have a limit on how many student loans you can get. You can't just keep getting student loans unless you get them from, like, private places. So, um, basically, I got the amount of student loans that I got last year, but I didn't get a Pell Grant this year. Yeah. And I didn't get a need-based scholarship, which I also got last yeah. year. So, that's about $3,000 less than I got last year. Oh, shit. Yeah. And that's $3,000 that I do not have. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to, yeah, I mean, like, it'll be fine at this point. Like, I've thought about it, and I will be going to school next semester and everything. Yeah. But I'm just going to have to, I mean, I'm donating plasma regularly now. To, Does that hurt? No. I mean, it's just, like, giving blood, I guess. That's but, gross. Um, and then um, <coughs> I'll just be doing, like, food delivery stuff, too. Yeah. Just to just pick to, up like, extra money. Pick up paid. I've literally, I think when I move a curb, I'm going to probably pick up food delivery just because I want, like, extra cash. Just because yeah. I need to get out of debt. Like, my goal by the end of this year is to be, like, so, to be out of debt and to make sure that I do not get in debt for a period of time because I feel like I got into debt way too, I'm only 20 and yeah. I'm already in, like, enough debt to make me, like, actually have panic attacks yeah. about where I'm like, oh my god, like, I need to, like, figure out how I'm going to pay this bill and also like survive to eat like it's kind of terrifying right like and it's so crazy this is a serious epidemic in america to be yeah. honest like with college students and like just with our generation like growing up we're all fucking in debt yeah like, and it's it's so crazy because it, it's student loans first of all that um are just insane. Everyone takes out student loans. And, oh like, just from, like, our parents, like, comparing the amount of student loans they took off and, like, how they were able to pay them off and everything compared to us. Yeah. Like, it's it's crazy. They were able to work a part-time job and pay off school throughout the time that they went to school and ended school. Yeah. Like, that's what their reality was. Like, yeah. it was expensive, but it wasn't like this. Yeah. And not only that, but now getting a college degree doesn't even get you as far as it used to. Yeah. You know, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a good job. Oh, no, yeah. Now you actually have to, like, more than just prove it. Like, your college... Uh, you still need a college degree. I feel like a college degree is still valuable, but it's... You need, like, just as much experience behind it. Like, yeah. they expect you to have a college degree as well as job experience. Yeah. System's freaking broken. It's kind of weird, which is why everyone's a freelancer. 
which yeah. is why literally the like I think everyone gives like our generation shit for being freelancers and like the um the generation below us is gonna be a complete generation of freelancers because nobody Just wants all to building work for themselves them. up. Yeah. yeah, because that's how fucked up the systems are. Nobody wants to work for this bullshit system. Nobody wants to give money to retirement. Nobody wants to save. Like yeah. nobody wants to play these tricks. That yeah, like it's it's such a young way of thinking of being like, no, this is the present, and I want to live it the way it is now. You know, and it needs to be fair now. Like, not beneficial to me when I'm older or older people now you know like I feel like the job market is completely like literally at work the other day they explained to me how I couldn't have a specific title because I just hadn't worked like that long I was doing the work of that title but if I was ever given that title I would it would be like a joke if I walked in somewhere else they're like oh you've only been working this job for two years to have this title you need to work be working it for six and I'm like okay but I've been doing your work better than you for this many years and I have this title you know like that's so backwards it's so weird yeah and I mean back to like like retirement like you said and social security we're not gonna get social security no we're not so like we're paying for this and we're not it's it's not gonna come back to us I don't even know how I'm gonna live as an old person no (laughs) No, it's like I can't even support myself right now like much less without social security (laughs) god like I see my parents retiring and I see my dad he like talks about retirement and stuff and like he definitely can't retire he we definitely screwed him over he definitely you got screwed over by having faith like getting faith <laughs> cause she's still in co- like she has college now she's about to go to college she turns 18 next week by the way my little sister turns fucking 18 which is weird and so it's like my dad's about to, to have three kids in college and like yeah my brother has a lot of it paid for he still has some stuff to, that my dad helps him with but he has all of my education to pay for and not my sister's education yeah so like my dad's retirement yeah he's still gonna retire old but he's still gonna be able to retire like i don't think i'm gonna be able to retire i don't think retirement's ever gonna be in like the realm that I'm speaking unless I become like super wealthy unless like I magically get the lottery or something like but I could foreseeably this is our future (laughs) yeah I I feel like I'm just gonna have to die at 40 and then it'll be fine oh my god (laughs) just just give up at 40 but like seriously I mean when it comes to like parents paying for college too I feel like less and less parents are able to you know oh yeah like my parents didn't even realize that it was like a thing for parents to be able to for parents to do that they're like I mean we paid our way through college easily yeah and so I was explaining to them like this situation I'm in and I'm like oh yeah just because like my EFC that my expected family contribution went up this year um and that's why I didn't get the Pell Grant and everything yeah um I don't know why it went up because my parents are freaking broke but they're like wait EFC what's that and I like explained to them I was like yeah it's just like they they assume that that's like how much you'll be helping me out and they're like they just assume that because my parents aren't helping out at all in my education and they're like that kind of sucks and I'm like yeah I mean it's just the way the system is like exactly there's no other way to like determine it I guess like who needs help and who doesn't but Penelope, Crazy. you're in the lucky boat and you got a lot of pale grants. Like, your education was basically... I haven't paid. You haven't paid it. You haven't paid it. You're about to start paying it, though, soon. Well, if you stay out of school for, like, a year, but you'll pay back your loan. But you got, like, some grants. You got some pretty hefty stuff. I've only taken out one loan, and it wasn't... I paid it back already just because it wasn't... It wasn't to use it. It was to start my credit. Yeah. Was that for, like, military stuff, or, like, what? Was that just for school? Oh. It was the... It was FAFSA, and it was the actual college. It was... That was giving me money. That's awesome. That's crazy. Just because, like, I was in my... Like, I... All my degrees that I've, like, gone for have a lot of money towards, like, them, just because, like, I was doing a side of a degree that, like, everybody does the other side. So yeah, I got paid for like wanting to do that good degree. They're like, we need you here. Yeah. So, what will happen when you if you go back to school? Will you still be like able to qualify for those things that you qualified for when you first left high school? Yeah, there's a chance I'll I'll be able to get more like different ones because I won't uh, be living at home anymore. Oh yeah, that's Cause true. Cause you'll be on your at my parents' house. Yeah. So. I knew I was living, like, and then, like, I got, I didn't pay for, 
because I did a scholarship for it. Like, I, like, wrote an essay, and they yeah. gave me just, like, $600. They were just like, here's $600. Oh, you did those? Yeah. I want to do some of those. Just, like, get money. I got enough for those that, like, I haven't paid that much. I haven't, I haven't paid anything for school yet. That's wild. I, like, applied for all those type scholarships, but I've yeah. never gotten one. I haven't applied for any of them. I gotta try. Maybe it's because you're white. I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> no, <laughs> that's no, like, such seriously. like a thing. The $600 like, was yeah. Explain what, like, like, like how much Sp- how much Hispanic you have in your bloodline. Yeah. And I was like, like my dad. And they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I need to milk that more. Like, have it, being a minority is yeah. so helpful <laughs> Freaking when that. it comes to school. When it comes to school, being a minority, and then, like, you can do, like, a lot, and then yeah. I can do all yours, plus I can do the ones that specific... There's, like, specific scholarships for being exactly half Hispanic and exactly half white. Those two <laughs> races together. You're the perfect mix. I'm the per- no, I'm the perfect mix to fit in. How? Almost- like I can it. fit into being white. I can fit up to be fitting in, like, with other like, yeah. races. And I can fit when they need to be both. <laughs> That's such, like, a weird racist, like, it's so racist, yet so, like, I don't know. Because, like, it needs to be done, like, that type of profiling, that type of stuff. It, like, I don't know. Because you can learn a lot from that type of information, I guess. And I guess, it, like, you know, give those kids money. Yeah, no, keep giving us money, please. Like, yeah. no, well, don't well, give... Well, no, yeah, it's Yeah, like, no, it I, makes sense. I, like, like, that's why it's it a stereotype stupid, in but the like, first I, place, like, but... Like, half of them I didn't, like, like my, like, heritage, like, earned, and then the other half, like, I, could, I actually had to go, like, go out. And go like, out, and, yeah. need this money to actually go to college. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, I mean, reverse racism isn't fucking real. Like, I feel, like, yeah, I mean, I'm a white person, and, like, I don't get those scholarships, and I feel like there's so many white people that are, like, oh, yeah, that's because, like, this is freaking reverse discrimination, or, like, affirmative action and that kind of stuff. It's, like, no, those those things are, they need to be in place because there are people that are put down because of, like, the situation that they're born in. Yeah. And, like, even if, like, you guys have your college paid for, like, I mean... The majority of Hispanic people, like, no, they're they don't living have, below yeah. poverty line in America. A lot of them don't even end up getting into college. Like, it's yeah. amazing that we're able to go to college in the first place, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I feel like that also is a lot to do with just, like, the location that we grew up in and, like, yeah. super white suburban Utah. Yeah. Like, I mean... That, it, to be honest with you, well, like... we graduated it, from Lone Peak. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, like, even though, like, a lot of colleges don't know us, but they can, um, like, look, no, Google yeah. it real fast and just be like, oh, okay, Oh, yeah, yeah. They, would, they would understand. <laughs> but it's, in, it's, like, super impressive for minorities to come from, like, that type of school, which is super weird. But, but like, you think back to it, how many Mexicans went to our school? and like you hung out with like the you hung out with the biggest group of minorities besides like the black kids which Seriously, is such a we weird we were the group. black kids because we had Eli yeah <laughs> like, no so Lone Peak Lone Peak's yeah. demographic was legitimately like um 90% white people um like 5% um like Samoan yeah um, Polynesian. Islanders and you, you Islanders. literally hung out with the like point two other yeah and yeah. then it was like then 3% the, Asian 1% yeah. Hispanic one percent black or whatever like the one percent was those, like, us yeah. like we literally like, there's like three other people that were actually like they could check like Hispanic on their things yeah yeah the other ones are super tan but like they <laughs> no there's, yeah like, like, so there's only three so you like literally like we were two out of three of like the minority like that's yeah. fucking crazy <laughs> and it's crazy though that like we didn't run into more racist people at our school because there were so many racist people that went to Lone Peak that like are now outwardly outwardly racist. Yeah, I didn't run into well, many people. Well, you could people. see the signs. They yeah, you could definitely see yet. it. <laughs> well, I feel like there also wasn't enough room for it. You know, like yeah, I mean, sure. if there are only a couple people of color at the school, then it's not like they're going to go targeting those specific people of color. <laughs> Whereas in yeah. the south, I mean, if it's like half uh, and half, then like yeah. black people are going to freaking yeah. be beat up and face violence. My only issue, well, I guess my only issue, I the issue with like Lone Peak. Well, my big issue with Lone Peak was that everybody wanted to be black. That's so weird. What? Every white boy, <laughs> every did white you boy that out. Did you not pay? No, did you not pay attention I we to? We spent any? a lot of time together. <laughs> okay, when we were not hanging out, whenever we went to class, 
we ever ever in fucking class. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody was like, they wanted to be a gang. They wanted to say the N-word. They wanted to portray this black culture. Of, yeah. Like, they thought black people were, like, the coolest people on earth. That's know? so true. Which is so weird. It's oh such God. a white, suburban Utah thing. And it's just, That's, you know... And I hadn't like, thought about that. The the, pe- the black people that were at our school were definitely, like, tokenized. Like, yeah. they were held up to, like this weird like oh my god everyone loves them everyone, they're so they were, funny everything yeah. they say is so funny like it's and it they were fucking weird it didn't matter if they were dicks or not and I'm not saying that any of them were cause I'm to be, I didn't know many of them like that's such that's such like a oh my gosh I'm putting a target on my back but like to be honest with you like if any of them were dicks no, nobody would know because if you said that to them no, then people would know they'd be like no that's okay they'd be well, like exactly. it's part of it's, it's part, part of it them. like yeah yeah because it's all, and they totally they they most of them were adopted into white families. I would like to say a yeah, lot that's of them were raised true. by extremely yeah. white families. So none of them came from like the struggling black culture that a lot of them portrayed. And so I was kind of just like, this is really crazy that like this super stereotypical racism is happening in our school, and that the people who are supposed to be like, hey, like cut that out, you know, like this is our culture. They're they don't even understand that, and it like. I didn't fucking go around cutting people and yelling in Spanish. Like, what the fuck? That's not what Mexicans do. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, I didn't portray, I didn't try. I mean, yeah, sometimes it'd be funny, but I wasn't like, that wasn't <laughs> you like. You fucking my, brought a knife to school. school. Okay, yeah, that, that was middle school. I'm talking about high school, bitch. <laughs> you cut your eyebrow. Like, yes, you're like, that was a style thing. Like, no, oh, okay, that was a style thing. I and people totally do that now. That. That's, yeah. yeah. I'm still gonna do that. Yeah, but when she did it, like, people do it down now, but when people do that, like, that's yeah, like Jack over there. Like, <laughs> that was like wearing like a oh button gosh. up polo, a button up like shirt with the one on yeah. the very top with a white like fucking wife beater under it and like yeah. really baggy shorts. I was like, yo, you want us to get shot? Like, what the hell? Yeah. People already follow us around in stores. Like, yeah. do we he, need was, he was embracing that stereotype. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, no one else is here is going to do it. So. Shaved head. Like, all you need is the bandana oh and teardrop tattoo. <laughs> like, Jack is literally, he just looks. A fucking per okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, this brother. He's so good, but like the problem with like Utah not having so like so many minorities is like they start following like you know how like we start to have the experiences that black people talk about like be like oh we were been followed around like well you should have been followed around by stores but like Shut Jack up. and I will go to fucking Walmart and we'll have someone follow yeah. us around and we're just like we are literally like you've seen us pay every time like you see like yeah. I open up my yeah. wallet and there's like a hundred dollars in there like well, you should know we're gonna pay for our shit yeah. Yeah. and you're definitely white passing like yeah, you look like a Jew <laughs> I look like a Jew <laughs> it's true oh my gosh when Jack had that weird ponytail he looked like a Jew <laughs> yeah, well, like, but when I'm standing, oh like, gosh. when I'm standing with Jack in the summertime, if I'm, gonna I'm in Utah, I'm gonna put a picture of Penelope with her hair up looking like the lead singer in the 1975, because she looks really Jewish. I do, I know. <laughs> oh my with, gosh. With, like, your ringlets. <laughs> like, your dark... <laughs> yes. No, but yeah, like, there have been a lot of just, or, like, you know, people just say, like, some strange racial stuff when they realize like they when people like, ask like they're, they go what are you and you're like that's a weird question or just like, so, what, so they're like, like what are you like what the fuck or they ask like like where, where's your parents like from and you're just like yeah. California like yeah. they're from here exactly they expect it's my you to dad. be like an immigrant <laughs> that's the other weird thing is that like they they don't like I get that I cause I was adopted by super white people I get that. Um, I'm not... Th- I mean, I wasn't raised super Hispanic. But I really, really don't like being discredited when I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm half Mexican. And they're like, no, you're not. Yeah. Because you were raised by white people. And I'm like, what is that? That's in my blood. I'm Hispanic. That's literally like, if I took a DNA test, it's going to tell you, hey, guess what, bitch? I'm half Mexican. Yeah. It, like, what do you mean? Like, just because I was raised in a different type of culture, that doesn't discredit, like my actual bloodline you know yeah. when my dad would pick us up oh my god <laughs> yeah he was like he was like i've been waiting like looking out and looking at the kids but i can't even see like then what did he's he like us? He was he, like, he's like you guys are the only two Mexicans, Mexicans in the whole, whole school, school. school. Like, decide to be friends <laughs> <laughs> like we just found it that was super weird 
oh my gosh, if I had my hair curly when we started friends, when we were friends younger, we probably would have looked like siblings. People yeah, thought totally we were siblings too for a while. Which is weird. Yeah. You guys don't look anything like each other. Do they think you were adopted no, together? I think they just both knew yeah. it. I think they knew that both of you were adopted. So they're like, I oh, think there's so. how many? <laughs> Let's count. Or they were like, um, they're both not white. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I honestly, I honestly believe that. The summer that we worked at the pool and I got like super dark and I hung out with Eli, there were many times where they're like, are you guys cousins? And I'm like, no, we're not but, related. Yeah. Like, what? Like, yeah, that's also weird, because, like, that's, like, I hate when people, like, assume, like, I mean, I don't know what I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> like, assume that you must be related, because yeah, like, you both have, just, like, you're from the same race. Are all white people weird, related? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like, w- during, like, in the summer, because, like, mm-hmm. I'd get super tan too, yeah. but then we'd both get the, from being outside so much, we'd both get the, like, chalky skin from being oh, yeah, dark. Gross. Yeah. And, like, if we, when people see that on you, they they just assume you're not white. And it's just like, <laughs> no, I'm still half white. And you're like, this is, no, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Utah is just, Utah is just such a white place. And yeah. I mean, I did move here from Colorado. But there was a lot more diversity there, which is kind of strange to think about. Yeah, well, and Utah County specifically, Highland, Alpine, Utah, like, that's literally oh just gosh. as white as it gets. Like, seriously, though. Penelope, is it, like, super diverse around where you are? Because you're, you're in L.A. You're in northern L.A. Yeah, like, white people are the minority there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's, you're, that's like, fucking wild to live somewhere like that. Yeah. Must be nice. Well, yeah, because when we go to California, like, as a family, my dad, like, everybody asks, like, like, what's your last name? Because, like, he looks Mexican. And yeah. You know, like, they want to know, like, if they know, like, part of our family. You know? Oh, yeah. When we're in Utah, people think he's Polynesian. Because <laughs> oh, they yeah. don't know what Mexicans look like. They don't <laughs> That's true. A lot, of people, a lot of people assume that we're polys. Because yeah. they, just, they don't know what Mexicans look like. They're way more Polynesians in So they're like, yeah. oh, you're not Utah white. County. You must be Polynesian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many Polynesians in Utah My dad County. doesn't look Polynesian. He looks fucking Hispanic. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. There's so... Racism... I don't know. It's such a weird culture, and it's such a weird bubble, and I feel like it's strange that it's happening just in Utah, and then you leave to just go next door, and it's, like, a completely... It, there's, like, it's L.A. Like, what the fuck, yeah. you know? Yeah, I feel like Utah racism is, like, white people just refusing to educate themselves, mm-hmm. and that's, like, a whole lot of it. It isn't, it isn't necessarily, like, it violence or anything, but there's so much just, like not educating yeah should we pause this okay hold on a second Okay, Book. we're back. We're fucking recording back to recording now. We always start it like that. <laughs> yeah, What's up, started. you guys? Let's Welcome back, back to Just Talking it. Podcast. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm just kidding. After we were rudely interrupted, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, How so anyways, yeah, so Utah's racist, low-key, high-key, low-key. High-key, high-key, Utah's racist, and they don't realize it. High-key, low-key, way-key. Side-key. <laughs> All key-key, key. do you love me? <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, and I'm kind of sick of it. I don't know. I'm really excited to leave Utah. Yeah. It's just weird. Okay. Utah's well, a, a weird culture. Save your money. <laughs> You're too far away from the mic, Penelope, to be heard, so you need to okay. get off the ground. I don't remember what we were talking about. Come before. say it. Come say goodbye to the viewers. <laughs> there are no viewers. They're not watching anything. But anyways, <laughs> Penelope, no. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, no, that's the poor <laughs> ending it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, okay, thanks for tuning in. Tune in again. Okay, tune in. What I'm going to do in. What I'm are gonna, we I can't channel? fucking speak. Yes, we're Disney Channel. Um, 
Okay, I couldn't speak there for a second. I forgot what was <laughs> That's how you started, too. <laughs> I'm going to have another podcast. We've come full circle. I'm going to have another podcast going out in the middle of this week. So look out for that. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Yes. Look at the links below. Follow me on have- Twitter, Maggie underscore brain. Do you Call want- me at my phone number. <laughs> Call Penelope. Um, oh, oh, also feel free to follow Penelope and her any of her socials. I don't know any of your fucking social medias. Uh, feel free to either. take all Penelope's money from her bank account. Since Porter, she released all of that information. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked that up, but Porter says fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh my gosh, and is. that's it. Catch you next time. Bye.